you come into this program broken and you leave it with a little bit of courage, a little bit of confidence. And that's something that I haven't had for a long time. I was trying to sober up myself before I went into the hospital. I wanted to lay there, go to sleep, and, and die. I was up for about two and a half days, uh, hallucinating and seeing things. And somewhere from that bottom pit of despair, I, I was able to uh, give myself a glimmer of hope and uh, text my, my girlfriend, who I knew was not going to be my girlfriend anymore. Um, she asked me what I needed, and I said, uh, Gatorade and a ride to the ER. That day was, it was terrible. He couldn't even walk, barely, you know, get him to the car. Put Harborview into my GPS. I had never been to Harborview. And um, I remember it like taking me through Mercer Mess and there was construction. And it's telling me to go away that I can't go and I'm crying. And it was one of the hardest days of my life looking back on it. When I dropped him off, I didn't know, I didn't even know if I'd see him again. What I say now is like cooking chose me, but honestly, like I, I did not know that that's what I wanted to do for a career until, until, you know, I got out and I started doing it. And I told myself, okay, take a kitchen job for six months and reassess the situation there. Um, by the end of that first week, I was cross-trained on two stations. By the end of that six months, I was hooked. And by the end of the second year, I was the sous chef. I'm looking at these pictures. <laughs> pictures right behind your head. <laughs> what I've gained in life is a better relationship with my daughter than I've ever had before. The girl that I had to move away from is now my wife. To say that I'm grateful for the start that I was able to get through Fair Start is uh, uh, an understatement. You gave our family Dan back, um, and it, it improved Dan. I mean, I fell in love with him six years ago, and he's a much different person now. I I can't I can't I can't put into words how thankful our family is for Fair Start. Dan Tiffany, I'm the phase two chef trainer for the adult culinary program. Uh, I'm also a former student, so it's nice to be back. Uh, this is the first time that I've done a graduation for, for guest chef night. So I went to Dan's graduation and I remember thinking, how cool would it be if one day, 10 years down the road, the stars were to align and he would be able to come back and work here. Just hearing the people speak about Fair Start and about the people there and the true, genuine gratefulness and thankfulness of that program, I knew that he could contribute more. I don't know, there's something that happens between week one and week 16 where you see these people sitting down for their first roll call and they don't even want to smile. <laughs> um, and by week 16, you know, when you see them at their graduation, at their guest chef night, they're just beaming with this newfound confidence that is only going to grow if they keep on doing the things that they should be doing to make sure that, you know, they're working on, on themselves and not just their kitchen skills. And there's, there's something that, that clicked in me over the last five years or so. And it's like, once you understand that you have to work on yourself um, and you learn to love that process, life gets so much more fulfilling.
Like, I wake up and it's not that I have to do these things, you know. I get to, I get to. And finally, we have Melianga. You provided me with one of my favorite training moments so far. And I'll just say that when you showed up to roll call that Monday morning, and you made eye contact with me, that hit me, you know, it's good. It's real good stuff. Well, what can I say? This program has taught me a lot about myself and to understand what life is about. And uh, to make a difference within myself and my peers. And I want to thank to the chefs, but especially to Chef Dan, because there was a day I was, I wanted to quit the program. And he had a little spill down, a little talk, and he said, don't give up. And I realized that I got to finish what I started. Because if you don't finish what you start, man, you're never going to finish anything in life. And what I learned at Fairstar was that I might actually find something that I'd love to do. This provides people that had little or no future with hope and future. It's beautiful. I mean, I could say, you know, if I could just re reach one, then, uh, then I've done my job. But the, the reality is that Fairstar reaches numerous people every week, every day. And just to be able to do that, be a little part of it, that's just, that's the reward right there.